Researchers who want to track the volatile currents along the coast need a bright pink dye. And Scripps researchers had a whole barrel full. Just after 9 a.m., they started pumping the dye into Los Penasquitos Lagoon. Researcher Sarah Giddings says scientists know a lot about how big rivers interact with the ocean, but not so much about the many rivers that work on a smaller scale. These very small river plumes interact very directly with the surf zone and that the breaking waves have an impact on their ultimate spreading. When the river's fresh water mixes with the sea, it creates a plume that can carry bad things like pollution and good things like nutrients into the ocean. The waves can effectively trap the river plume in the surf zone such that it spreads along the shore instead of punching offshore. And so we're sort of trying to understand that transition between when it punches offshore and spreads offshore versus when it gets trapped in the surf zone and spreads alongshore. Releasing the dye and watching the winter waves turn pink is not just for show. Researchers are interested in learning as much as they can about the event, and they deployed a lot of sophisticated gear. Great. We've got a lot of moving pieces here. We've got offshore sensors that we scuba dove on, deployed a couple weeks ago. We've got the jet ski, I don't know if you noticed, it's got fluorometers, CTDs, you know, temperature, depth, conductivity, measuring salt, things that as well. It's also measuring the bathymetry. We've got two drones in the air. One's got a hyperspectral drone, it measures wavelengths. A second round of dye was released a few hours later. Once researchers compile all the data collected today, they hope to be able to better understand how these intertidal zones work. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.